Live back at Coney Island, yeah? You probably know Coney Island from Bing Bang. Hey, yeah. But did you know this is where glizzies were invented? This is where ice cream was invented, and this is where roller coasters were invented. In this video, I'll explain to you why Coney Island is way more important than you think, and why its descent to an internet meme is Donald Trump's dad's fault. Bing Bang. Coney Island was actually discovered before the rest of New York by an English guy. Back then, it was a bunch of sand inhabited only by some rabbits. A few days later, Henry found a swamp which his boy Robert named Manhattan. They probably wouldn't have put their money on it becoming the epicenter of American society. But by 1895, New York consisted of here, here, and here. The main bit, Manhattan, was built using caissons and concrete pillars and on top of this artificial ground most of the city was absolutely jam-packed with factories and very tight housing for the workers because being a worker in cold smelly new york was pretty bleak in this era a lot of them wanted to go somewhere and have fun eat candy floss and let loose coney island the pier had always been a spot where rich new yorkers could grab a beer and a clam you know as you do on a hot day. But the word spread and more lower class people started visiting because it was the perfect location. A, it was connected by two bridges and a ferry to Manhattan. B, it wasn't as built up, meaning that workers could go on a holiday on their days off, breathe fresh air, take a dip in the clean water and eat clams. Now, amusement parks had existed before in Europe. However, as more and more people started visiting Coney Island, more attractions were added and these were game changers, bruh. Coney Island basically became the prototype for every theme park you see nowadays. It had the first ever railway roller coaster, it had the first ever glizzy stand, a huge lookout tower, it had sugary food, and most importantly, the first ever twerk may have happened in Coney Island. And Coney Island got bigger and bigger and bigger and then the main bit burnt down and then World War One happened and then the Great Depression happened and Coney Island became a very cheap place to live due to all the jobs being lost when the theme park closed down. But Coney Island slowly started to recover. It wasn't Soho but it also wasn't the worst place to live in New York until Donald Trump's dad Fred Trump showed up. In the 1950s he bought this part of Coney Island through a series of dodgy deals. He decided to completely flatten this, you know, pretty vibrant cultural area and build the beautiful Trump Village. And this is the replacement housing he provided to displaced citizens. Oh yeah, and the only remaining bit of the incredibly historic theme park got knocked down by Fred Trump as well, leaving Coney Island with not much apart from its people. And it's people like this, and this, and this, and this that keep Coney Island alive.